there's a new first in the battle against the opioid crisis in Kaja County. KMVT's Garrett Ottel tells us about it. It was a first for an Idaho community. Intermountain Casual Regional Hospital handed out close to 70 naloxone kits to area residents, a medication that helps reverse the effects of opioid overdose. It's kind of a rescue medication for opiate overdose. The hospital provided training on how to use the kits, which came with a vial of medication and syringes to apply it, as well as step-by-step -step instructions for how to use in time of emergency. While the medication isn't something new, it's not really new, but I think just getting the info out can save lives and that's why hospital administrator Benjamin Smalley worked with colleagues and legislators to help bring this initiative of offered freely naloxone kits to the Kaja community. Family was very appreciative because they were worried that um, their mother who had had troubles with uh, drug addictions in the past was worried that she might uh, overdose in the future. Data suggests there's light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to combating the opioid crisis at least on a national level. Idaho however is unique from 2014 to 2018 overdose tests reported reporting opioids has increased by more than 50%. It's a problem paramedics like Maggie respond to far too often. You have regular calls on, on this, and yes, I have, uh, but it's not always because of an illegal ingestion. Victims can be someone as close as a family member legally taking opioids to recover from a common surgery, a reason why Ben is constantly looking for ways on how to best combat the opioid epidemic. We track the number of opioids that we prescribe and uh, try and find ways to offer alternatives. Today, Ben is on Governor Little's opioid Opioid Task Force, which has been assembled to find the best ways to stop opioid overdoses in Idaho. Him and his colleagues hope the work done at Cash Regional. This is available to anyone really who wants it. It's okay to have this in your home and it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Is a small step in a grander marathon. I'm being in a position to save that person's life. I mean, it, it doesn't get uh, much better than that. Garrett Hoddle, KMBT News.